So today I'm talking about a P0460 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0460 code? Well, it's a fuel level sensor A circuit. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's a fuel level sensor usually located with the fuel pump inside of the gas tank. There's a sensor that's attached to a float. And as the fuel level goes up and down, this float is gonna go up and down, which the sensor is gonna be able to pick up. But when you get a P0460 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor that there's some kind of issue going on with it. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0460 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going to the fuel level sensor or possibly like a blowing fuse, something along these lines. Like I said, these are usually located inside the gas tank with the fuel pump. So you can go and get schematics for your particular vehicle since there can be differences and then check the wiring, be sure that it's correct, that there's no issues going on there. Quite often you get schematics for free using like Google images or forums or different things like this. Although sometimes they can be kind of hard to find. If you can't find wiring schematics for free for your particular vehicle, I'll put some links down in the description below to some good paid options. But hopefully if you need them, you can find them for free. But basically you can go and check the wiring to be sure that there's no issues going on with the wires going to that fuel level sensor. Since the first thing that could cause this is a wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel level sensor. It might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. You can't test these fuel level sensors with the multimeter. And basically what's going on with these sensors is that on one side of it, it's going to have low resistance. And then on the other side, it's going to have high resistance. So as this lever moves down or up, the resistance value is going to change. So if you can find the two wires that's going to that fuel level sensor, then you can use a multimeter to check it for resistance using ohms. And when you do this, if it's open, you know it's bad. But if you are getting some kind of reading, then you need that float to move and you check to see if the resistance values change. There's some different ways to do that. Some mechanics will just rock the whole vehicle and see if the values change. You can also add gas in and see if the values change. I made a video on this. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to check that out. But basically, the next thing that could cause this is that that fuel level sensor has just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the float. And basically, if there's any kind of issue with that float, then it's not going to move up and down inside the gas tank as the gas levels change. And so it's never going to activate that sensor. And this happens for different reasons. Sometimes if a vehicle sits for a very long period, like a year or more, you could get rust inside of there and it could cause that float to stick. That can cause problems. Also, sometimes something can happen to that float and it can't become disconnected from this lever that's going up to that sensor. Different things like this. And so the last thing on the list is going to be that that float got stuck and it's not engaging that sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0460 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.